Okay, this is episode six of season two of RV Dream Makers. And as you can see, the way I'm dressed, the waste management open is this video. And uh, this first time I've ever been there. And I have been to two PGA championships in St. Louis and one in Tulsa. And when I got to this one, it was probably by far the best tournament I've ever been to. Um, just the massive scale of the attendance of it, the uh, grandstands that they put up on 16, 17, and 18 are just ridiculous. Uh, the manpower, I guess, they used in this uh, tournament is just amazing. All the best players show up. Um, the iconic hole 16, which we sat on, um, was amazing. Uh, they, there's a lot of rowdiness and craziness on it. Uh, they yell and scream when players are hitting, and then they boo them if they don't hit on the green. Uh, there was two holes in one, one on Friday, one on Saturday, and the beer cans flew out on the green. Um, I'm sure they're going to change the rule next year on that. I don't know what's going to happen, but we'll find out because we will be going back every year as, as we can when we go to Arizona for the winter anyway because it was just amazing. I can't wait to go back next year and go more than one. We went two days, one for practice and one for uh, on Thursday when the tournament began. But the first part of the video is the practice day that we went on a Tuesday, which is free. Mondays and Tuesdays are free. They call them Ford free days, so people get in free, and that's when we bought you know souvenirs and checked out all the holes and followed some players because you never know when they're going to play or stuff. Uh, but they have some neat stuff on Wednesday. Um, and then the tournament starts Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So the today is the third round of the Masters. I just got him watching. And the player leading that, Scotty Scheffler, is the one who won this tournament in February when we were there. And, um, yeah, just amazing place. And we can't wait to go back next year. Uh, we'll be more prepared. <laughs> You're going to go back more. Yeah. I'll do one day. <laughs> yeah. But she don't have any problem buying souvenirs. I didn't buy any. Yeah. For her son. Yeah. But anyway, I uh, hope you enjoy this episode. We're chasing the easy life. waste open management tournament we got up I got up at like 445 to walk Samson and get him in my bed having a dog with anxiety is challenging but he is laying in our bed when we left at 545 and we're here extremely early but we weren't sure about the parking situation so Oh, I might have to get me some hot coffee. It's a little nippy this morning. So today's a practice round, so we have tickets for Thursday. I just got a chai, a chai latte. They're like huge for only eight bucks. Here's, what is this right here? 18. Oh, here's 18. Smile, 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 smile. 
doing the whole waste management open. Uh, we, we are here on the Tuesday, me and Michelle, it's four free days, so you get to come free. And then Thursday we got tickets. And this is hole one. It says 403 yards from here. You can see where they hit from. They got the little waste management uh, trucks on each one. But uh, com just keep walking down the fairway. But um, down the, uh, the thing about this tournament is if people, a lot of people been to Bell Reeve back in St. Louis is it is just like 10 times bigger as far as venue, as far as the amount of people that come and how much money compared to what, you know, at Bell Reeve. So, yeah, it's pretty, pretty. How's there somebody already playing out there? Oh, they've, they've been practicing for who knows Oh, how. because they can go out whenever they want to. Well, they schedule times and stuff. And they hit more than one shot, a lot of them. So, like, two guys are playing together there, and they're going to hit. They'll hit four or five shots, different spots. These people have good views from their houses. Let somebody come up and hit one so I can see where they're trying to land it at. This is hole number two. And it goes down to there. Those people just teed off. This is hole three. These houses are amazing. And then I guess it goes through there, hole three. I love the landscaping. It's gorgeous. There's threes. Fairway. This is Brandon Grace. I can't read watch it. Can you see it? It's off left. No. This is hole eight. How far close did it get to you? It was just right in front of me. A ball just came down in front of me. It's down in there. It just came right in front of me. It just came. I can't believe you didn't hear it. I heard something. Three more steps sooner. Here's hole nine. In there. Somebody came and claimed the ball that almost hit me. Jody was going to take it for a souvenir, but they popped over the hill and Jody pointed to it and they wanted it back. So we didn't get to keep the ball as a souvenir. I told him I should have grabbed it and ran. <laughs> so this is the iconic hole 16. I love the landscaping in the middle. 
What's that little putting green in the middle? It's probably if they maybe they hit in the maybe that's where uh, the women hit from when they're in it, when it's a regular course. It's crazy. Stands there. This is on the 18th hole. Running to get to hole 16. Not me, him. He's saving me a seat. I'm going to buy a coffee. This is nuts. It's hole 18. The putting green, they're getting it all ready. This is where it'll all end. They're working on it. Pretty sky. Got my chai tea latte. Now I'm going to see if Jody got on 16. <laughs> Busy this morning. <laughs> okay, we are here on Thursday for the first round of the uh, Waste Management Phoenix Open. And here is hole 16 and where our seats are. From our seats, which are not blocked because we're in an aisle at the very top, we can see them putting and hitting into hole 10. We can also see them play on 17 right behind us. Here's where we're sitting, right on the edge. So we can see hole 17. If we have to go to the bathroom, we just go right down these steps. If we have to get concessions, we're right there. It is the perfect seat ever. This is awesome. Absolutely awesome. And I can't believe how many seats are left after jogging. I didn't know how many would be left. I was jogging and I'm like, you got to be kidding me. When I got up here, then you can see all the players practicing way back there. So, nope, everything comes down. Yeah, you would think they keep it up, but they don't. So yeah, this this is so freaking awesome. I'll be here every year, and I'm probably gonna. Uh, I'm going to have to bring Devin out every year with his military ID and stuff. Alright, i got to get here and uh, get off there and figure out who these guys are coming in to hit four degree and watch the other way. He's getting Rooksy. Okay, now turn it towards the hole. See where it lands. Okay, now go back to Scary Wood. That was Brooks kept counting. Who's two under? Uh, this is Abraham answer it. No, he's out. Well, you guys hang out here all day. You're a good part of your day. This is like lunch or something. Put him in the Yep, Abraham answer He's one under. Okay. Oh. Way short. Oh, in the sand. 
Thank you. Now I feel better. I should you got wood on? No, I got a bunch of scary wood. He was in the sand, Answer was in the sand short. See, look at the flags up here. There's a pretty good wind there that... Gary Woodland, one of Michelle's favorite golfers, because he does the folds of honor. episode and please like share subscribe we're gonna be putting out videos every two weeks all year uh, we got plenty of material just from the three months we were gone and we'll be going this summer also um, but anyway remember God loves you but only Jesus can save you see ya <laughs>